Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. So tonight I'm taking a look at one from out of New York and Southern Tier. This is the Salted Caramel Imperial Stout. This one comes in at 10% ABV. Now this is actually one I just decided to grab from the seller. This is the Vintage 2017. Uh, this one, you know, they give you some of the descriptions on the side, color black, body creamy heavy, bitterness moderate, uh, serving a snifter. Now I'm going to actually serve in a glass, which is kind of like a snifter tulip type hybrid, but it'll be all right. And then store dark upright 35 to 40, which this was actually stored in the cooler at 37. So right there in the middle. And um, on the side here, you have some information that they also put on the bottle if you wanted to stop to read that. But let's go ahead and get this one open and into a glass, see what it has to offer. Been looking forward to seeing what this one actually did taste like. And I actually have a couple of the other ones down there too I need to do at some point. But uh, this is a 22 ounce bottle. So this will be my nat nightcap beer for tonight that I'll be drinking. And uh, should be night night as Kevin Hart would say. After this, after a while probably. So we get it here into the glass. And there you can see it right there nice dark color on the beer and yeah you're not really seeing through much to the other side even with the light behind it not getting much of a tint even i mean pretty much kind of a jet black color came out with a thinner head about a quarter of a finger or so so not much of that in place wow but the sweetness that comes out of the beer you get a nice big dose of caramel you can just tell it's going to have a little bit of a booziness in there as well. You're picking that up. But it really does smell like dessert in a class. So I'm going to go ahead and get the taste. That is smooth and creamy. Nice blast of that salted caramel flavor. Now, I myself, I'm a big fan of caramel. I ain't going to lie. I put that stuff on all kinds of ice cream when I'm having ice cream. So for me, this is like a great dessert type beer to have that caramel in place with the something like this, which is kind of funny because, you know, you think back to like back growing up when I started drinking back maybe like in the 80s or so. And to think that at some point you may have caramel in a beer, it's just ludicrous, but it works nicely here. You get a little bit of bitterness. You can really feel a little bit in the throat as well but goes down very smooth. That nice creamy feel that goes with it adds a nice little uh, body to it. Definitely full body on this one. You get more of the alcohol on the nose than in the taste, but you do pick it up there. And it's leaving behind like residue from the caramel type flavor. Like you really feel it on the back of your lips and everything. So very nice put together. Now, I also decided to try pairing it with the double fudge oreo cookie that i picked up at the store earlier and see how that actually works as a dessert no one even mentioned the shortbread cookies got the fudge working from the cookie got the caramel from the beer yeah beer and cookies who would ever thought it not bad though i'm not going to dip the cookie into the beer I know you were thinking that, but I'm not going to do it. But if you like a nice, sweet, dessert type beer, I would definitely say this is something you might want to check out. Now, I did sit this out from the cool for about 20, 25 minutes before actually drinking it. Some people might like it a little bit warmer as well. But at that time frame, it does come together okay here. It still has a little bit of that chill on it, but it's enough that you can still enjoy everything. As it warms, you'll have more of that. Uh, kick in with some of the sweetness, which is why I didn't want to wait, you know 45 to an hour out because I don't want to get too sweet Especially if I'm going to drink this uh, 22 ounce bottle so to speak where it becomes too syrupy or something along those lines But a decent brew that I would give a uh, 4.25 out of 5 as far as it uh, being a pleasurable uh, dessert type beer very much like this one most people might want to try to split this between two people because of the sweetness in there, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. I sacrifice for you all. 
Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think of it by putting a comment in the comment section or what you thought of it, I should say. And that all being said, I look forward to catching you next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. And remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better come.